Hey everybody, it's Chris from Deeply Dapper, and this is Tabletops and Tentacles' first episode of the podcast that we've made to accompany the magazine that we've created. Tabletops and Tentacles is going to be a monthly magazine that we are putting out, and it will include reviews, previews, RPG content, we are going to include short fiction, comic strips, interviews with creators, uh, we've got game uh, makers and publishers and designer interviews, we've got artists coming on to talk about their technique and how they broke into the industry, and I really want it to kind of be a comic con in a magazine is what we're shooting for with it. I grew up loving Dragon and Dungeon and Wizard and Entertainment Weekly and the Magazine of Fantasy and Science Fiction. I read voraciously when it came to magazines as I was a kid. And I wanted to do something... We sort of spent this like weird limbo time here at Deeply Dapper for a while trying to decide what I wanted to do with things. I love drawing. I've made a career now for the last 10 years out of our art and creations and crafts and things that we make. But I've never been locked into a certain style. And I came to this revelation about six months ago that part of that is that I grew up reading variety magazines and I grew up watching The Muppet Show. And I have a Muppet's attention span, unfortunately. So I wanted to create something that gave me the opportunity to do everything I love doing, but in a cohesive form that people could pick up and collect. Uh, we've been doing cons for seven years now, and we've met a ton of amazing people on the road, and we wanted to make Tabletops and Tentacles a vessel for showing people what we do, who we've met, how we've interacted with them, and we're really super excited about it. Uh, the first issue should be out in April. We are pushing hard for it right now. We had a couple of little road bumps. We ran a Kickstarter back in January, and we it did far better than we expected. It exceeded it, and we can't thank you guys enough for supporting us with it. And everything was going fairly smoothly, but we ended up losing our graphic designer, which has been a whole... It's been a whole other thing. And no no hard feelings or anything. He got a real paying job as opposed to an indie zine about nerd stuff. So I don't begrudge him taking a real paying job at all. Uh, but it meant that for the time being, I'm going to be doing all the graphic design as well as a lot of the art and writing and layouts and everything else for the magazine. So this is truly an indie zine. It is mostly my wife and I. Uh, we have a few friends that we brought along for the ride. We've got a few reviewers that we're going to bring on when we can afford it. But for the time being, it's entirely funded by you guys and your support of us at our Patreon page, which is patreon.com slash deeply dapper. And there you can subscribe to the magazine. You can get it in digital form for five bucks a month. You can get it in print on demand through drive through RPG, or you can get it printed mailed and delivered to your door if you'd like old school magazine experience. Uh, we are doing it in a 6x9 form. This is a printed copy of our cult classic special that we unlocked during the Kickstarter. So this is not a fully representative copy of it, but you can download this for free on the Patreon. They're going to be 6x9 format. The first issue we actually unlocked 140 pages of content, give or take. It'll depend on how long things end up being as we are writing. It's about half done right now. A lot of art. I'm doing a tremendous amount of art for all of these issues. Um, I think the just the cult issue, which is only 60 pages, had 9 to 14 uh, exclusive brand new pieces of art that I did. Uh, we want to bring something really cool with, this issue, with these issues, a mix of artwork and profiles and interviews. We're doing a book club where we're rereading Lovecraft. I'm doing a series of the 50 greatest films and whether or not they're really worth watching before you die. I'm really excited about it. We've been talking to a lot of game designers and RPG creators and comic artists. Uh, in the first issue, I've got John J. Hill, who is a phenomenal graphic artist and artist. He designed the logos for the Harley Quinn comic. He does lettering. He's designed a ton of logos. And it's one of those 
interviews. I knew him before I met him through Printed in Blood, which is one of the art book companies that he works for and is co-owner in. And it was amazing starting to pay attention to what a letterer does and how much it makes an effect on a comic book. So that was a really fun interview. Uh, we got TJ Damon, who's an indie comic creator. I talked to Fireside Games, and uh, those are the guys who created Castle Panic. They've got a new game coming out that we're talking about in that, as well as a new version of Castle Panic that's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I have spent a lot of time on this magazine, and it was sort of a revelation when we realized that this was the best way for me to use my time and my skills, skills, to create something. And I really wanted to do a nice mix of art and writing and fiction. Uh, we've got short fiction in every single issue. And it's going to be a blast. I'm super excited about it. The Kickstarter itself has been an interesting little beast. Uh, we unlocked a ton of content, but with that type of content, it also imbues a certain amount of responsibility. And that's been interesting because we genuinely plan Tabletops and Tentacles to be kind of an indie zine thing. But when you get hundreds of people excited about what you're making and invested in what you're doing, it comes with a certain level of responsibility to create something cool and different, but also really familiar. Uh, this is going to change this channel here at on YouTube, if you're watching this on YouTube. Uh, as for a podcast, it's going to be an exclusive podcast, and the podcasts are going to be pretty fun. We're going to try and supplement the magazine. Anything that we interview for the ma anything, anything that we interview for the magazine, yes, that's right, we're interviewing things. Um, <laughs> anyone we interview for the podcast or for the magazine will have the full interview posted on the podcast. So you'll get the article, it'll have some behind the scenes stuff, it'll talk more about the topic, and then you can get the full unedited interview on the podcast. We are Patreon supported which means that's how you get the magazine. But we do want the podcast and the YouTube channel to remain available to anybody, uh, both as a convenience thing, but also as a way to bring more subscribers in. The more people we have that back the Patreon, the more content we can bring, the more people I can pay to do stuff for me. Um, I've been talking to guys that worked on Shadowrun and D&D &D and done a lot of indie RPG stuff about creating RPG content for the magazine. I've been talking to some indie creators about doing print and plays for, for it as well. But although it is an indie zine, I really... I'm an artist, I'm an indie artist, and I've been one for years now, and I feel incredibly strongly about paying people for their work. We are doing some exchanges and some uh, some advertising swaps, of course, because that's just sort of the industry, but I really want to be able to pay creators for their time, for their creations, and for what they're doing. So if you're a creator out there that's interested in being in the magazine, let me know. We're always open to discussion and ideas regarding the magazine, uh, but we'll be expanding our roster of contributors as we can afford to via the Patreon. So support us if you can. I don't want to make this just a big ad for Patreon though, uh, but it's been interesting to come at this from a different angle. Uh, for the last five or six years, we've been doing conventions almost exclusively. Our online sales are faded back a little bit, which is going to be changing soon. Uh, but we realized that being on the road is hard and it's time consuming and sometimes it doesn't work out. And we wanted to create something that we could produce and release both on the road and at home here at Deeply Dapper and this weird little studio of mine. Um, so that's what this is. We are going to do a combination of YouTube videos. We're going to do a podcast. We're going to do the magazine, as well as still have the online shop where you can get cool swag. You can get branded stuff with our cool little ampersantical. But I just really, I wanted to find a way that we could kind of do a little bit of everything with it. And I hope you guys enjoy that. I know that a lot of YouTube channels and podcasts are very specialized. They are 
RPGs and just old school role play, or they're just board games, and this is going to be a little bit of everything. I want something that more than just one type of fan can enjoy, because that's what Tabletops and Tentacles is for us. It is a celebration of nerdy stuff. It's both film and games and video games, and I feel very passionately about all of those. I've made a tremendous amount of them. Um, we have two other podcasts, Robot Kraken and the 3D Podcasket, and both of those are mostly film-related, but with a dash of comics and art in there. And we've we have hundreds of episodes of those, and I love talking about movies, but I also love comics, and we've just gotten into board games. There's a reason that my YouTube channel was formerly called The Reformed Grognard, and it's because I grew up playing awful, awful roll-and-move board games, and a few years ago we went to SaltCon, which is a gaming convention in Utah, and just sort of discovered what new board games were. And it was kind of a revelation for us. I kind of fell in love with it. I realized how much RPGs had changed from the last time I played them. And it pushed us in a completely different direction than I ever imagined. We've spent years now selling my artwork and soaps and realized that this is the way we want to go. We're creating games. We've made a, board, a card game that just came out this year. We are working on a couple of others that we're going to go out through like a smaller game company that we're starting with. I've worked on some uh, RPG stuff as well that's in progress. And I really want this channel to sort of be representative of all of that. Uh, the podcast, and in particular, is going to have a, a shifting focus. Every week we'll come out with a new episode because we unlocked weekly episodes through the Kickstarter. But they're going to be differently themed. Uh, we will have a news update episode where we talk about news and uh, Lindsay or my brother or one of my other contributors will come on and we'll discuss kind of the news of the week, the geek highlights kind of thing. Uh, but we're also going to have interviews. We're going to talk about cool supernatural stuff. I'm excited about it. It's going to be a changing format and I would love feedback. I know I'm taking a chance asking for feedback on the internet, but I would love feedback. Uh, one thing I adore about comic books and old school magazines is the letter page. It's one of my favorite parts. And you can always send us an email at tabletopsandtentacles at gmail.com. I would love to get feedback on the YouTube channel, on the podcast, and on the magazine itself. Uh, if you sign up on Patreon right now, in the next week or two, you will get the first issue through Patreon. And that's the big Kickstarter 140 page issue. Our regular issues of Tabletops and Tentacles will be about 80 to 90 pages. So this one's almost 50% larger. And it's the exact same price as the regular monthly issues will be. There's also going to be all sorts of little bonus stuff on Patreon and on the YouTube channel. You can find me doing time lapse videos of my illustrations. I'm going to post. Uh, we're doing unboxings, reviews, uh, Ben and I, my brother, uh, Quarter Ben, as he'll be known in the magazine, uh, we play a lot, we have a weekly game group that we get together on, and we are discussing, kind of running a bunch of newbies through RPGs for the first time ever, uh, people that have never played a role-playing game before, and I'm super excited about it, I just kind of wanted to record this as sort of an introduction podcast and episode so that you kind of know what's going on where we are with things and I will make sure to keep everybody up to date on the magazine as well as it goes that's the cover right there by the way that's our tribute to the red box D&D uh, &D, of course and I'm having a lot of fun with the covers uh, we're doing themed issues generally so obviously the cult film issue has a uh, John Carpenter retrospective in it and has snake on the front uh but the the second one's got an old school DD &D theme the second issue is going to be cryptozoology themed i realize i'm gesturing a lot to things that people listening to the podcast can't see and i apologize for that it i <laughs> so i've done videos i've done podcasts i've done magazines I've never really done all three in the same thing, so I apologize if you're listening to this and you're like, this guy doesn't know what he's doing. I don't. I don't know. Um, 
Anyway, thank you so much for listening. This has been episode one of Tabletops and Tentacles. You can find us at tabletopsandtentacles.com or you can go to patreon.com slash deeply dapper. I'm excited. I am so excited that I wanted to get on and be like, hey, this is what we're doing. We're making a magazine and it's super cool. I hope it's something that happens and carries forth because I would love it if I can just continue making a monthly magazine and videos and podcasts do well enough at it that we can continue to do it but more importantly that people will like it well enough that we can justify continuing to do it so please don't hesitate to just spilled coffee all over myself uh please don't hesitate to let me know how things are going how you feel about it and if there's anything that you feel like we need to add if you love one of the articles and want to see more of it let me know and again you can go to the patreon right now and download this copy in digital form for free And through the duration of the first issue, all of the updates on the Patreon will be uh, public. Anybody can log on and see any of them at any given time. You can also follow us on Instagram, at Tabletops and Tentacles. Uh, We're on Twitter, at Deeply Dapper. And I know we're kind of bouncing back and forth. Deeply Dapper is sort of our umbrella, where everything else rests underneath it. We've got geeky soap we make we make handmade home decor i do artwork i've got novels we've got our game creature features so it's got a little bit of everything under deeply dapper so we're sort of starting to segregate it out tabletops and tentacles will be the youtube this podcast and the magazine thank you so much i hope you join us for this mad crazy thing we're doing And may you live in interesting times.